Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary homies, Stavik Jita saying what is good to all my fellow Super Saiyans, and today we've got another TV spot slash trailer to analyze. We're going to watch the trailer real quick and then take a look at a couple of moments that we get to see, a couple of new moments in the trailer and analyze them. Now, to preface things, to just, to just get things out of the way before y'all start jumping me in the comments, I don't think Gohan or Goku are bad parents, and no, I was not trying to clickbait you, but Gohan's parenting skills are actually going to be called into question by one of the characters in Dragon Ball themselves, so don't jump me, this was said by one of the characters themselves. Without further ado, let's start watching the trailer. So we've got the two of them powering up, Gohan and Piccolo, and we can see this little scene of them exchanging, we've got the magical materialization, little fights with Gamma 1 and 2, beautiful Makanko Zappo from Piccolo. We've seen this falling shot of him exploding a couple of times now, and of course this shot of Glasses Gohan transforming. So let's take a look just real quick at, oh well actually both of these, these scenes, but this is the one that I want to look at first. So we've got the scene of Piccolo showing up in Gohan's house and changing his clothes. Let's just see what it is that they're talking about and we can do a shot by shot breakdown. So real quick, the shot by shot breakdown, we'll take a zoom in for you guys, so just so you guys can see what's going on. We've got the top is we got Piccolo confronting Gohan. Gohan's kind of brushing it aside. He still seems to be buried in his research. Then we've got the magical materialization where Piccolo changes his clothes from what his current ones are back to his old gi that he was wearing during the Cell Saga. And then we can see that Gohan kind of just brushes this whole exchange off and goes right back to his research. So yeah, that's first things first. And let's analyze what's actually happening. Thanks to DBS Hype, we can actually hear or understand what's going on. We'll see Piccolo receiving a video call from Videl. She asks him to pick up Pan from school because Gohan has locked himself in his room to focus on his research, and she has a tournament in her classes for her students. Videl is a martial arts teacher. So that's pretty dope that Videl is keeping up with her martial arts. I don't know, I just think it's really cool to see, especially since... Well, yeah, when we met her, that was kind of her thing, was that she was like a, a tough, nitty-gritty gal. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to see that she's keeping up with things. And she's not following in her father's footsteps of just kind of, like, putting on a show. Like, she's actually training hard. Uh, then we see that Piccolo, who is angry, going to Gohan's house. He asks him why his research is more important than his family. Gohan says he knew Piccolo would pick up Pan. So this is a really interesting uh, questioning from Piccolo. He's in... He is calling into question Gohan's parenting skills, which I think is really interesting. He clearly wants Gohan to be spending more time with Pan, and I can certainly understand this given that he had to fill in the gaps a lot of the times when Goku was either dead or off planet or just too busy training or whatever. So I can certainly understand his frustration of wanting him to go and spend more time with his daughter, especially if, if, if to him this is just, well, you're just locking yourself in your room to research some bugs or something like that. So I can certainly understand where Piccolo's frustration is coming from, but if we look at this in a more real world sense, well, relying on relatives to go pick up your child if you and your spouse are busy working is not uncommon at all. I work with kids myself, so seeing a babysitter or a grandparent or an aunt, an uncle come pick up the child because you have two working parents in the family isn't uncommon or unreasonable at all. And so I think that that's simply what Gohan's doing. He's relying on his relatives or the people that he cares about to help him out with his family. Because at the end of the day, he, he has to work. You got to do your work, as does Videl. She's a teacher. Her students are going to rely on her in some way, shape, or form. Now, does that mean that maybe Gohan couldn't have taken five minutes to go pick up his daughter? No, probably not. He definitely could have done it. But still, I can understand where both of them are coming from. So without further jibber-jabbering about parenting skills, because that's not why we're all here, there's one last thing that I want to take a look at, because I don't know if many of y'all caught it. So once again, we've got this shot from the final battle. You guys can tell that it's from the final battle just based on the craters and then that like purple-ish sky in the background. Anytime you kind of see this purplish pink sky in the background of any of these shots, you can sort of tell that that is where uh, that's going to be something from the final fight. But what I want you guys to notice is what's in Piccolo's hand over here. So I'll take a I'll take a better shot for you guys that we've got over here over on Twitter. If you guys could not tell, it is in fact a Senzu bean. So yes, hopefully uh, Piccolo does not make the mistake as Goku did his actual father, Gohan's actual father, of giving the Senzu bean to our main antagonist of the piece, who I don't want to spoil for those of you who don't want to be spoiled. Uh, but yeah, it is pretty interesting that Piccolo is going to have a Senzu bean for the final fight. Hopefully it'll be given to himself or Gohan or, you know, one of the Z fighters, not, not the main villain of 
the piece. And shout out to uh, this person over here whose name I, I, is a little too far away for me to read in this great text uh, for noting this over on Twitter. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this makes you guys even more excited for the movie, just like it did for me. I think this is an interesting psychological and interpersonal dynamic for Gohan and Piccolo that I am personally excited to explore, especially considering their relationship in Gohan's childhood. Anyway, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day.